Hey everyone, Steve's here. In today's video, I want to show you underground fiber optic cable. So this is the cable that runs, in your, at least in residential areas. It might be used for business too. But I also want to show you just how absolutely small and delicate it is and why you wouldn't want to try to open this up and mess with it, it's, it yourself. So I ran into an AT&T guy doing some work and he took a piece for me. He, I asked him, he gave me a piece and he cut back the different layers. So you can see there's the outer sheath right there. You know, that's the part that's weather resistant. Then there's an inner sheath. And then beyond that is like, I guess, like a little, like a cloth insulation. And then there's, and then there's the actual jacket around the fiber. Now, I don't know if you guys can see it, but let's see if I can get the light just right. If it could focus on that, um, that little tiny thing there sticking out the end, that's the actual fiber itself. Um, what I'm going to do is take and put my little uh, macroscope lens on my phone and zoom in against it so you can really truly appreciate how small it is. All right, anyway, so that point being is that there's nothing in here for you to try to maintain. Actually, the AT&T guy even warned me. He said, if you get that little thing in your hand, you're pretty much going to have to go to the ER to get it taken out. They call that the stinger. That's the, the I guess that's their, their affectionate slang name for that little bitty, I don't know if you can see it there, little bitty in there. They call that the stinger, and it'll break off in your skin, and then it's it's bad news. Anyway, so bottom line is, you see this in your yard or something like that, or you're digging and you run across this, don't mess with it. Don't try to open it up. Don't try to do any kind of servicing on it unless you're a fiber tech. Okay, thanks a lot for watching.